Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is making copper quarters. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a heat torch, quarters, lighter, heat, and pliers. I'll have a list in the description where you can get these. First, you're going to light your heat torch. Then you're going to securely hold your quarter with your pliers. You're going to flip that back and forth about uh, for about 20 seconds or until the quarter glows. You're also, before you start this, you're going to have a cup full of about 2 ounces of heat or 60 milliliters. Uh, that ready so once the quarter glows, you're going to be able to drop that in. Or in my case, I'm just going to hold it so we can see it boil. Uh, the boiling point uh, for... Uh, Heat is about 148 degrees, uh, which is 64 Celsius, um, and the uh, uh, coin it we're dropping in is over 1,200 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and that's 648 Celsius. You'll see it's going to boil the first time, and then it's going to stop, and then it boils the second time. That's pretty cool. And then you've got yourself a copper coin right there. Pull that out, and we'll bring it up. During the cooling process, some of the inner copper core of the coin has migrated to the outside, leaving us with a cool copper plated quarter. Let's talk about what's going on here. There's two cool principles. The first one is, why do we use heat and not water? Well, if we use heat because it works like an oxidizer. If we just use water, we'd end up seeing a black coin, which is pretty cool. That's what heat does. The second effect here is what we call the Linfrost effect. It's very cool. It's what caused the double boiling that we saw. This is where the coin gets a very thin vapor layer around it that actually protects the heat from the high heat of the coin until it collapses. It doesn't last very long, and then we get the second boil as it reconnects. It's called the Linfrost effect, and it's very cool. I did multiple years of quarters to see if it affected it in any way. Um, as you can see, I did 1966, 79, 85, and 2013. They all came out pretty copper. A couple of them varied a little bit, but a pretty cool uh, experiment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.